All right, guys, I missed the part first, but I forgot to turn it on. But uh, this was uh, this is a quad wheel I'm doing in some uh, tule or reeds or whatever you want. Um, I just dipped it. Uh, it's one hit wonder, so I went two fast passes with the 1.8. Um, went in similar to this right here at an angle and kind of ran across my pattern in a diagonal here, so I didn't have that re repetitive pattern just going up the center of it, okay? As you can see, it came out real nice colors. No trapped air. Uh, I did slice these open here. What will happen is if you trap air inside of any of these little uh, taped off areas, uh, a bubble could possibly be trapped in here and when it finally wants to release itself, it will run itself in between your film uh, and your pattern or your, your uh, project and it will leave you a, a snail line. So uh, you got to leave yourself a couple little slices in there so the air can get out of there, okay? I don't, don't, don't close it up all the way, alright? As you can see, it, uh, the color is nice and clean and brisk. It's been out for about, well, I guess, at least a minute now, and I've got no, uh, no overactivation, so I know that uh, two fast passes with a 1.8 worked really well with this one-hit wonder. Anyway, I'll uh, dip some more parts for you guys, and uh, we'll see if we can make a little video out of this. Okay, we're going to dip the side cover. I need a little bit of stretch coming off the sides of this. I'm going to leave it a little big. That's pretty good. I've got the pattern running, I meaning the dirt's here and the plant's growing up this way. So i got to make sure when I drop mine in that the plants are growing up it. So it's a little bit of a. got to think about it before you dip it. Looks like I might have touched it with some moisture or something at one time right here, so I gotta keep it away from that. But not a big deal. Okay, here's our part. I put the cover on it. Right here, this is a separate piece, but we're going to put it on anyway. And I want the grain to be coming up this way. Let's see if we've got enough expansion of this little rest here. I've got to worry about the hole right there. Okay, I've got to hold the deal. Okay guys, I'm looking at it for the first time too. See how it's growing up? That's the way I want it on the bike like that. Good color. Got inside my hole there pretty good. And a little bit of a void up there. That's actually a reed. Yeah, it's a pretty good dip. Pretty good dip. Okay guys, I uh, 
Got the reeds going up this way this time. I think this is the ground and that's the way they're growing. Uh, I'm going to come in at an angle with the other side fender and get the, hopefully to be opposite of the first one. Okay guys, here's our part again. I want the film to be going up, coming up this way. Got an arrow on the back of it. That's the way it should go. Let's put this mask on. Again, I want to run it at an angle this way so that that, that pattern doesn't repeat. a little back taping up here because these outside edges that are actually ex these aren't exposed but if the film rolls around them the job just looks nicer as, as opposed to seeing that base color so there's certain areas where I like to back tape and make sure I get full coverage around that lip I did the front up here too not so worried about the bottom but I did that too and this here is all going to be covered up with uh, more plastic parts okay so we've got four dips done real quick and uh, we're gonna start on the big ones next <laughs> 